Hi guys, Paul here, and this video is kind of about this hub sand and a modification to the radio so we don't have to use AA batteries, but more so it's actually going to be a shout out to someone else's channel, and I'll get to the point of the channel shortly, but I just want to cover this first because there's a reason why I'm going down this path. So the hub sand, this, this whole system actually works really, really good. It's a really good starters FPV kit, but having said that, the main radio goes through these batteries, these are AA batteries, really, really quickly. Like you might get five or six flights, I think, or thereabouts, uh, maybe a little bit more before uh, your AA batteries are, are going to be dead. So hence, you're going to be spending a lot of money on AA batteries, and your options are either go down a path of um, alkaline batteries like these, or basically use rechargeable batteries, or what I would prefer to do is go down a path of um, lipos and that's probably a better option for me since I've got so many of these for our aircraft so this is the path I want to go down so I've already actually done the modification and I'll run you through exactly what I've done with this so I've got some velcro here and what that allows me to do is basically clip this guy and that's basically ready to go. And what we'll do is plug him in and I'll show you that it does actually work. Hopefully you can see that well enough. And it's basically going to be ready to bind. So there you go. Um, that's pretty much good to go. So it works fine. And I can use, we'll get this off. I can use uh, either the 2S batteries like this one here or I can go down a path of a 3S battery like this one here. So um, I'll show you exactly what I've done to this. I'll just get the uh, back panel off. So hopefully you can see this quite well. What I've got is my basic battery connector and that's connected to this little PCB board which is connected to where the actual batteries go. So I haven't had to drill any holes in this or anything like that at all. And I just basically fit it, feed it through here. And I'm just being careful that I don't actually pinch the wires. So um, and I'll show you exactly what this little board is. I actually picked up five of these, I think, from eBay. So what we have here are these little buck converters and they're pretty easy set up. Uh, you've got a little potentiometer over here. Hopefully you can see that quite well. And uh, basically with a screwdriver, you'll actually turn that to set the voltage. What we have here is we have the voltage in, positive and negative. So that's obviously connected to our battery and our voltage out, which is your plus and your minus. And obviously that connects up to here on the uh, PCB board here. So the beauty of this is you can actually set the voltage up to whatever it is that you want. Um, but I'm not going to go through how to do this tutorial because there is a tutorial already available on this and I will link that in the description. So the point I was trying to make is um, I had one of my subscribers who is Eric Williams and uh, basically he was the one that actually did this upgrade to his Hubsan and um, I saw his video, uh, went and had a look at it, and he's actually commented on lots of my videos, and he's uh, someone that follows our channel, he flies RC aircraft, and um, obviously he's passionate about this side, but probably more towards the electronic side of things, and that's probably an area that I'm less interested in, even though I can get by in the electronics department, but um, he has a fantastic channel, I really suggest uh, going out there and checking it out, he's got lots of fantastic electronic projects, so essentially the purpose of this video is just to point out this fantastic tip that I got from Eric's website. And um, he's a great bloke. Uh, the tutorial, he's got lots of tutorials, lots of how-tos, and lots of really cool projects. So if you're into electronics, it's probably a really good uh, YouTube channel to actually subscribe to and check out anyway. Um, so basically the purpose of this video is just a quick shout out to Eric and um, hope you found that useful and if you've got one of these things I suggest following his tutorial and upgrading yours.
Anyway, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video and I will catch you guys later.